I can't remember if I did a video on my makeshift mini grill, I guess I'll call it. Uh, I don't need a big gas grill. I don't need a big barbecue pit to, you know, cook one steak or one hamburger patty. So I devised a way that I could use less charcoal and a small area with this aluminum pan. So I just replaced it. I had one that I just reuse over and over and over. So this is a new one and I thought if I hadn't shown this that I would go ahead and show you um, my little barbecue pit. So I start with a little aluminum basting pan or roasting pan and I use this grill or this pan and I only fill half of it with charcoal. So I will put charcoal under this half over here and light that and then I'll put the, the little grill on top and I'm going to cook me a hamburger patty tonight for supper. Tomorrow morning they are going to start construction on, construction on a new hiking trail and they asked for volunteers so that's why I'm here. So I think that'll be fun to be involved on starting a new hiking trail here in West Texas. But for now, let's start this grill. I'm about to put the hamburger patty on. I bought this new little camping table from GCI Outdoors. Actually, I got it on Amazon, but the brand is GCI. So this is a little, great little table right next to your lawn chair. So let's have a seat here. Throw the burger on the grill. There we go. That's how you throw the burger on the grill. Glad it landed where it landed. <laughs> I can see the lake just a little bit through there. That's how you cook for one. You just get a little bit of grill. You don't waste charcoal. You don't have to build a big fire. I got my walking stick out. It's dried up a lot, so I'm going to work on it again. I can't decide if I want to leave it rustic or sand it down and put some kind of shellac on it or what, but I'm going to work on it this weekend. See if I can get all the, most of the bark off. I like kind of, you know, parts of it, leave that there. Gives it character. Smells good. Put the bun on here and let it warm up a little bit. Some cheese. I was at the dollar store the other day and I found this little food tent. So let's see how that works. Cover up your food while you're waiting. You don't get any little bugs. Oh, how cute is that? Of course, it's got to sit right so the bugs don't get underneath it. 
that's kind of cool. Of course, it can't blow away, so maybe I'll put the salt on it. Let's put this bun, this meat on here. Y'all have a preference on how you build a burger? I do. So I put a little bit of tomato, a little salt, a little pepper, a few pickles. I call that good. Let's see how this is. 